All right, so you're here because you want to learn about how to make DIN music packs on your own. Well, I'm just going to teach you about that right now because I feel like a lot more people need to know about how to make this kind of stuff. So here I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to get every single DIN music song to work for SRP2 card. Now, uh, before we get started, I need to show you certain apps that you'll need in order to make the stuff that you want for DIN music. First of all, you're going to need the most important tool for SRP2 cart modding, and that is Slade, the Doom Editor, which it says right here, it's a Doom Editor. Um, this will allow you to create the WAD file that you need to use to make your own pack, or you can download the sample pack from the DIN Music V3 um, mod pack and use that. However, I must give you a disclaimer, you cannot post DIN Music packs or any music pack of your own on the message board. It will get deleted because that is against the rules. You can share them with friends, but you cannot post them on the message board. So please, please remember that when you're making something like this. But you can either use Slade to make your own WAD for that. However, that would be a bit more difficult, but I'll explain how to do that later. Or you can do the sample pack like I did, and I will show you how to work with that as well. The second app you're going to need is Audacity, which is a free music editing software that I've been using for many years for many different mod purposes for NR, for Sonic, for Terraria, and for SRP2 Persona as well. And I might make a tutorial on that later, who knows. But this is a very essential app that you will need, and I got both of them loaded down here, which I'll be showing later. So once you have both of these apps installed, and you have a, let's talk about how to make your first song. So we're going to actually go to the Din Music config, which comes in the files for the sample pack. And right here, you're going to see all the options except for one, which I'll explain in a second, for songs that you can use in your DIN music pack. You have SPB music, which is r music that randomly plays whenever you get an SPB song. And all of these songs together, well, well there's one, SPB song one is already included, but all of these are included as part of the command. So by, with every SPB song that you add, you need to add one more SPB song to this list in the config file. So it'll only be these two whenever you first download it, but then you'll add more. And some of these songs are old. Some of these I have not changed the descriptions for yet. And obviously you can tell I got lazier with every description after that. But these are all the SPB songs. At least I have. You don't need to have this many, but I have this many just because. Um, next up is Encore Music. I don't have that many for these because Encore music, Encore songs do not show up that much. Um, these two are loaded by default in the sample pack. These two are modded. But Encore Music basically just adds a song that plays always, that always plays during Encore maps. Then you've got Maya Music, which is basically just alternate music for maps. And these are basically all the maps I have music for. I will be adding a new one in this tutorial, so that'll be a thing that'll be going on in this tutorial, but yeah. My music on, and then you'll have all the map numbers, all of the file names, and then the command for add mad music, and you'll just add more and more of these the more you go on. And just to clarify, if you put parentheses right here, that'll be what the description of your song when it is loaded in the thing for Din Music. Victory themes, also pretty self-explanatory, is a victory theme for characters, all of these, except for this one, are basically the same because they're all the Sonic Mania win theme, but I will go over that a little bit later on how to make those. Uh, Mega Mix themes, these are basically just invincibility themes. You can also put grow themes as well, but that seems that's a bit redundant as you can just do invincibility themes. And also invincibility themes are cooler than grow themes, honestly, but you can just change the grow themes in music.cart, which I'll also make a tutorial on later on. But, and there's one more category that I didn't cover, and that is the final lap music um, command, which I have completely omitted from this. One, because it's redundant, and if you have a bunch of alternate songs for your tracks, because your final lap music will probably end up being different from your custom music if it loads, which is a 50-50 chance to load anyway, so it just becomes redundant in the end, and that is not fun. But yeah, these final lap music just becomes redundant, so I've completely not included it. But here it is on the on the message board 
post for the Din Music mod. Basically, this is just all the commands for your final lap music. You can also look at the commands to add the songs manually during the during in the middle of a game, which is nice. So if you ever have a song and you think you want to add to a track mid-game, which I've never personally ran into, but if you wanted to do that, here you go. And you can also, where is that command? There's another command where you can queue a command for later. I think it's down here. Yes, you can queue a song in the player in the middle of a game. You can just do a queue and then the music lump if you're familiar with Slade, which I'll get to later. But now here's all, the, I've gone over all the stuff that you'll need. Uh, this is going to be for later, but first of all, to make a song, we're going to have to determine what map you're going to do it on. So for this example, I'll be doing a map theme, and I've already downloaded the song, or I've already got the song opened in Audacity down here, but we are going to be using the Sonic CD Special Stage theme from the US version on Kodachrome Palace, which on the levels selector is a map 36. So... We are going to be going into Audacity, and we are going to find the point in the song where it loops. So we're going to go, we're going to see where it is right here. Alright, so that will be a good reference point on how we'll loop our stuff. So we're go what we're going to do is that we're going to zoom in a couple of times and we're going to go right here. Like, let me zoom in one more time. And we're going to go at like the most pinpoint precision moment to loop your song. So you're going to zoom back out and you're going to click and drag to remove everything else past that looping point. And you're going to delete it using the delete key or cut it using the cut icon, wherever the hell it went with this new update. Or you can just use a delete key like I do. So here's the intro of the song right here. So we're just going to wait for it to get to be complete. And that is where the song will loop if we, or the song will continue if we left that part in. So we're going to zoom in once again. And we're going to click. Oh, let me play it a little bit. There we go. We're going to click at that point. And we're going to zoom out again. And we're not going to delete this section over here because... We'll need that for the intro section. We're going to click and drag all the way over here, and then we're going to click this button to loop it. And this is important to remember. The two things important to remember when you're making songs for a cart is you always want to have your project rate at 44,100. So, so you can keep your looping consistent between making songs because it'll have a different selection of samples, which is important for looping the song. So once you have the section uh, once you have the selection made, you need to look at your starting sample right here, and you need to go to File, actually, you need to go to Edit, and you need to go to Metadata, and you need to add Loop Point, and then the number at the start of the selection sample, so 295-890, no commas, you do not need to put a comma there or else it will not work, and then click OK. Then, once you feel like your song is done, actually, I'm going to amplify it a little bit. So we're going to go with effect. Let's see. Volume and compression, amplify. Let's put up just a little bit. There we go. That'll probably be good because cart gameplay is pretty loud. And overall, you may not hear your song if it's a bit too quiet. I've had to boot, boost some song volume in the past a little bit because of that. But we're ampl we've amplified it, we found the looping point, so now we're going to go to File, we're going to e Export as an OGG file, and we're going to go to my cart music, my specific cart music folder, which I have stored all of my used and unused stuff in the past. And we are going to rename it as O underscore code alt because that'll be the name for the Kodachrome alt song. For example, you've got uh, Darkville Garden. This is the Darkville Garden song right here. It is DGZ alt, so that'll, that will let me know that is the song for Darkville Garden. So this will be the Kodachrome song. We're going to save it and then do this with our loop point metadata uh, finished. So now we're going to head to Slade. And this is with the pre-existing 
DIN Music Pack. So if you have downloaded the sample pack from the MV, this will look a little bit different because it's all the stuff I have right here. All my SPB songs, uh, unused invincibility songs, which I'll probably get to later myself. Um, encore songs, alt songs for tracks, winning themes, and invincibility themes. Which one is this? That's Sonic's win theme. I don't know why it's all the way down there. But we are going to go to the end of the alt song thing. Again, it doesn't really matter where you put it. I just like to keep it organized. So the last song I did was this one, which is the one for Petroleum Refinery. And we are going to go to Import Files. We're going to go to our document cart, or my cart music folder, or wherever you store it. We're going to go to code alt and it's going to come right there underneath the song so after that so the song works correctly so we're going to go to the music def file which is also located in the sample pack and you're going to go down to the lat or I'm going to go down to the last song that I did and this is very important for making songs because you need to spell all of this correctly you type lump and then your the lump or the name of the file that you did, so code alt, usage. Then this this does not matter how you spell it. Code Chrome Palace. And then source. Um, this will not work if it has no spaces in it. If it has a space in it, so you have to use underscores and dashes instead. Source is US special stage sonic cd save this and then save the whole file and then you will go to your din music config folder and actually we're going to go back to our levels tab for cart and we're going to see that this is map 36 so we're going to go back to our config folder and we're going to, or this is how I just organize it, but I'm just going to put it under 35. So add map music, map 36, code alt, save and close. So now that this song has been inserted into the, into the config folder and into Slade, and this has been saved, we are going to open cart. So we are going to go down to cart right here. Let me just turn on my controller uh, thing here, but I'm gonna put Task Manager on the screen now just to show you uh, why I've been getting FPS issues in cart. Uh, VSync, for whatever reason, uh, when I turn it off, uh, GPU does not like that. I don't know why, but look at that. And when I turn it back on, uh, GPU thinks it's okay. That's a little weird, ain't it? But now we're gonna get back to your regularly scheduled program. Alright, so now that you've loaded your game and you've loaded your song into, into the config and into the slate folder, we're going to go to the game to test it out. So we're going to go to add-ons, we're going to go to download, and we're going to search DIN music. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Music. .wav. And then it's been loaded, and all the songs will be loaded as well. Then you're going to go to multiplayer, then offline. Then you're going to go to the, the track that we swap the song out for, so it's Kodachrome Palace, so we're going to go here. I'm just going to try and get the song to load real quick so that we can see it in action. So we're going to try it again. Let's try it again. Sometimes it just, like, it'll take a while to get the song that you need, so we're going to try it again. There we go. I, for some reason, sometimes titles just will not load, probably because I have a lot of songs in this. But as you can tell, the song is clearly working, even though it doesn't have a title, which usually doesn't matter in the long run. But, there we go. That's how you get a song into a track for Din Music. And while we're at it, I'm gonna show you how SPB songs and invincibility songs work. So we're going to load uh, X item. Wherever the hell it is. 
see, there it is. So now we are going to load next item debug item 13. Or no, that's three, I believe. Star. There we go. So we're going to switch to I don't know, I'll just pick a random map so I can show you this. And then we're going to get a star and show you Sonic's uh, invincibility theme that I've given him. Now you can do whatever song you want for the invincibility theme, it really doesn't matter. But we're going to get it right here. If you recognize the song, it's from Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. So, that's at least one of the invincibility themes you can I have done. So we're gonna switch to, I don't know, Casino Resort. And we're going to actually stop and load um, SPB Attack as our next mod, because that'll make doing the SPB thing much easier. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. We're gonna make this funnier. I believe it's 10? Yes, and then X item. I'm at, oh, we got a custom song, nice. This is one of the songs I put in within music, so X5 amount 255. Oh, X5 song. I forget what the command is, but we're just gonna switch to the S we're just gonna have the SPV loaded. We're just gonna go find just any item box, so we're just gonna throw it, and hopefully we get a good SPV song. Well the thing well the song didn't show up. Or the title didn't show up, which is a little weird, but I'll probably just fix that in the future, but... You can tell that this is not what normally happens in-game, probably because I loaded in the dim music, but yeah, here's an example of an SMP song. We're just gonna put another in there for some reason, and it'll show you, give you a new song if you load a new one. And we're just gonna die here, just because we've already shown what we need to do, and we're just gonna quit the game because we are done with that. So that is all you need to know how to do for using a game in Din Music. And now we are going to close this. So it shows that your song now works in cart. And once we get back to the config folders, so we're gonna go to cart. And then we're going to go to our sample pack. Back to our sample pack. Again, you can rename it to whatever you want once you are done. But I just keep it as this because I'm lazy. But you can also rename it to whatever you want once you download the sample pack. But let me just reiterate that you cannot redistribute it as your own in the uh, pack. So that will be a thing that you'll need to do so let's see here so we've got everything we need right here so we've got all the track songs let me just give a quick overview on just like what to do for the rest of these for SPV songs you just need to loop the same way and just rename you can re you can name it as whatever I don't believe it's case sensitive that it has to start with SPV but just to be sure start it with SPV and then whatever number or what the default is as run but you can just whatever number afterwards and just to organize it. That's how I like to organize it. Encore music uh, also doesn't really matter what you name it. So we're just going to go back to the config. It's just nicer to rename it as EM for encore music because it just makes it the encore music. Unless you know that this is the encore music. Same for my music, just alt music for tracks. Then wind music, this is wind music. So... And then Invincibility Music, which is IMV Invincibility. So that is a full tutorial on how to do Din Music stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want any more tutorials for cart, like changing the music.cart or sounds.cart, just let me know and I might do something like that.